Threads, it also invites me to explore the depths of my being, to forge new connections and rediscover the facets of myself that have been hidden in the shadows. In this realm of darkness and uncertainty, there's an opportunity for introspection, for growth, and for the emergence of a new self. And as I move through the coma's veil, I'm guided by the belief that even in the face of the unknown, there's a light that shines from within, a light that has the power to guide me through the labyrinth of memory, identity, and healing. Chapter 11, Past Echoes. Flashes of memories, like fractured mirrors, offer glimpses of who I used to be. But they remain just beyond my reach, teasing me with their intangible presence. The past echoes in my mind, a symphony of moments that resurface like ripples in a pond. They're fragments of a life lived, fragments that should fit together too. 46 Council of Greggs. Form a cohesive narrative. But the mirrors are shattered, the reflections distorted, leaving me with only fleeting glimpses of the person I once was. I strain to grasp the details, to piece together the puzzle of my past. The laughter of friends, the warmth of family gatherings, the simple joys that colored my days, they're like phantoms that slip through my fingers, leaving me with a sense of yearning and frustration. Faces hover at the edge of my recollection, expressions frozen in time. Who were these people who meant so much to me? How did they shape the person I've become? Their names remain just beyond my tongue's reach, like whispers that dissipate before they can be spoken aloud. But amidst the frustration, there's a sense of wonder, a curiosity about the person I used to be, about the experiences that shaped my identity. The past echoes are like breadcrumbs, leading me through the labyrinth. Based off a true story book one, Shattered Resilience Asterisk Asterisk 47 Of my own history, guiding me toward the truth that's waiting to be uncovered. As I reflect on these fractured memories, I'm reminded that identity isn't solely defined by the recollection of events. It's a tapestry woven from emotions, connections, and the threads of experience that endure even when the details fade. The past echoes are a reminder that even in the absence of clarity, the essence of who I am remains. And so, I move forward with a sense of purpose, to reclaim the past echoes, to piece together the fragments, and to forge a path toward understanding and healing. The mirrors may be shattered, but they reflect a journey that's still unfolding, a story that's waiting to be retold. And as I navigate the labyrinth of memory, I'm guided by the belief that even in the face of uncertainty, there's an opportunity to rediscover the person I once was and to embrace the person I'm becoming. Chapter 12, Messages from Home. 48 Council of Greggs. Voices pierce through the haze, voices that feel familiar yet distant. My family's words wrap around me like a lifeline, but comprehension slips through my fingers like sand. Messages from home are like echoes in a cavern, bouncing off the walls of my consciousness. Their tones carry emotions, concern, love, hope, but the words themselves remain elusive, as if I'm catching snippets of a conversation in a language I can't quite grasp. I strain to connect the dots, to decipher the meanings behind the sounds. The cadence of my loved one's voices is a melody that resonates deep within me, a melody that should spark recognition and understanding. But the melodies remain notes without form, the lyrics lost to the recesses of my mind. My family's presence is a constant, a steadfast anchor in the midst of the storm that rages within me. Their faces are like beacons, guiding me through the haze of Unser Dash. Based off a true story book one, Shattered Resilience Asterisk Asterisk 49, Tainty, reminding me of the connections that shape my identity. But it's a frustrating dance, this attempt to bridge the gap between their words and my comprehension. I see the concern etched in their expressions, the longing for connection, and I yearn to respond in kind. Yet, my voice is a whisper lost in the wind, a reflection of my internal struggle to translate thoughts into coherent words. And so, I cling to their messages like lifelines, even as the meanings remain just beyond my grasp. Their love is a beacon that guides me through the labyrinth of memory and recovery, a constant reminder that even when the words fail, the emotions remain a powerful current that flows between us. 
As I navigate the complexities of understanding and expression, I'm reminded that communication is more than just words. It's a tapestry woven from intention, emotion, and connection. The messages from home redash. 50 Council of Greggs. Mind me that even in the absence of clarity, there's an unbreakable bond that unites us, a bond that's strong enough to transcend the limitations of language and memory. And so, I move forward with the knowledge that even if the sand slips through my fingers, the love and support that surrounds me remains a constant, a source of strength that sustains me as I journey through the realm of uncertainty and healing. Chapter 13, Grasping at Reality. Desperation claws at my chest as I struggle to hold on to fleeting moments of clarity. Faces blur into one another, and names dance on the edge of my consciousness. Reality feels like a mirage, a landscape that shifts and distorts as I try to reach out and touch it. The effort to grasp at the fragments of clarity is a battle against an... Based off a true story book one. Shattered Resilience Asterisk Asterisk 51 ever-moving tide, a struggle that leaves me gasping for a foothold. Faces, are they friends? Family? Strangers? I strain to make the connections, to fit the pieces of the puzzle together, but the more I try, the more elusive they become. It's as if I'm reaching for smoke, my fingers passing through the wisps without grasping anything substantial. Names, they're syllables that should roll off my tongue with ease, but instead, they're elusive ghosts that slip through my memory like water through a sieve. I know that I should recognize them, that they should evoke emotions and memories, but they remain just beyond my reach, taunting me with their intangibility. Desperation wells within me, a fierce determination to anchor myself in reality, to seize the fragments of clarity before they slip through my fingers. But the more I struggle, the more I realize that perhaps it's not. 52 Council of Greggs. About holding on to the details, but about embracing the essence of the experience. Reality is a tapestry woven from moments, moments of laughter, of connection, of the mundane and the profound. Even when the details elude me, the emotions remain, a current that runs beneath the surface. The faces may blur, the names may fade, but the impressions they left on my heart are enduring. As I navigate the labyrinth of uncertainty, I'm reminded that reality isn't solely defined by the concrete, the tangible. It's also shaped by the intangible, the emotions, the connections, the threads of experience that weave through our lives. And even as I grapple with the desperation to grasp at reality, I'm guided by the understanding that the essence of what's real is within me, carried in the whispers of memory and the enduring strength of the human spirit. Chapter 14, Finding Strength Within. Based off a true story book one, Shattered Resilience Asterisk Asterisk 53. Amidst the fog, there's a spark, a stubborn ember of determination. I cling to it, nurturing it like a fragile flame in the wind. It's the force that propels me forward, even when everything else remains shrouded. The fog of uncertainty is a formidable adversary, a veil that obscures the path ahead. But within that fog, there's a glimmer of resilience, a tenacious spirit that refuses to be extinguished. It's a spark born from the depths of my being, a fire that burns brighter even as the world around me remains enigmatic. As I wake each day, Greeted by the persistent embrace of uncertainty, I find myself reaching for that spark within me. It's not a physical entity, not something I can hold in my hands, but rather a metaphorical representation of the inner strength that resides in all of us. It's that flicker of light in the darkness, a beacon of hope that guides me through the labyrinth of memory and healing. 54 Council of Greggs. I hold on to that spark with a fierce grip, knowing that it's the force that empowers me to move forward, to navigate the terrain of memory and healing. In moments of doubt, when the fog threatens to overwhelm me, I turn my focus inward and feel the ember burn within my chest. It's a reminder that I am not defined by my circumstances, but by the strength that resides within me. Nurturing that spark is an act of self-discovery, a process of uncovering the reservoirs of courage and tenacity that reside within the recesses of my consciousness. 
It's not a constant flame. It flickers and wavers.